Welcome back to Worldwide Boat. I'm Michelle Hall, charter broker. Today we're in Dania Beach, Florida and on board the 110 foot Margate. And here you'll see the main salon and we are here on Valentine's Day, open house. So we just want to have all the love on this boat. But as you'll see, huge salon, full beam, formal dining for eight, TV behind, awesome bar set up. Come grab some goodies. Happy Valentine's Day. Share the love. Hi guys, I'm Morgan and I'm the experience curator here with Worldwide Boat. I am here to assist you guys with all things pre and post charter from the second you hop on your private jet and enter into your luxurious destination until the time that you return home. So we are in the galley of Margate, and I originally said that the bridge is where the magic happens, but this is where the magic happens. I'm here with Chef Mandy. She's amazing. So Mandy, tell me, how long have you been working on boats? Um, I've been actually in the yachting industry for 13 years, oh, wow. so quite a long time. <laughs> and uh, what is your favorite type of food to cook? Um, I'm kind of a niche chef, so I'm getting into the way of less carbs, you know, a little bit more clean eating. I do like a farm to table. Mm -hmm. So how I create my menu, especially working in different places like the Bahamas and stuff, I see what I can get there first, mm -hmm. and then I create a menu from that. So. Okay. And did you start on boats as a chef or did you start as a stew? Um, I started as a stew. I'm actually also a chief stew. Okay. I work on large, so she can large make a boats. good bed, <laughs> yeah, serve some do, drinks, do I some theme parties. Yeah, I can definitely make a mean cocktail. And I just moved over because I really wanted, I really enjoy cooking. I've done it for a long time and it's kind of a passion and it's, I'm very creative and I like art. So Obviously. I like to be able to cook for people and cooking is love. So I really like <laughs> to give my love to other people. And where's your favorite place to cruise? Waters wise, destination oh, wise. Well, you can't beat the Bahamas. I've been in the Bahamas a long time, but the water, there's really nothing that beats it. Um, I actually haven't cruised the Med. I've done the Med personally, but okay. not on boats. So I actually really like the side of the world. I'm going to ask you a question <laughs> that you may not be ready for, but if you weren't working on boats, where would you be and what would you be doing? Um, well, I'm currently a resident of Panama, so okay. I'm eventually going to open a bed and breakfast in Panama and do a little bit of excursions and kind of make it my own. Same thing, grow fruit trees and do the wow. whole, you know, have chickens, eggs, farm to table and just show people a good time and in turn, I'll be having a good time. Sign so. me up. I'll meet you in Panama. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. Definitely feeling the love in this master, huge full beam master, king size bed. Um, we have his and hers bathrooms with adjoining shower in between, TV on the wall, closets on both sides, a um, little champagne station. I, I like this room. It's very nice. <laughs>
right, so we are going to one of the twin cabins here. Both of these cabins are identical, so I'll show you just one. But here, as we walk in, you'll see we have two beds. We have a twin size bed and a full size bed. So you can actually fit three in here if it's a family or small kids. Uh, TV, also head in each bathroom. Um, it's just comfy. And now we're in the VIP stateroom. As you'll see, it's multi-level, uh, beautiful queen-size bed, and suite bathroom right here, desk, and some closet space as well. <laughs> Now we're on the bow of the boat. As you'll see, bunny pad hanging out here. It's a great place to hang when the boat's underway. You can have a cocktail. And if you're a little adventurous, you can climb up a few steps there and have some more lounging area. All right, I have Shane. He is the first mate on board Margate. And Shane, how long have you been working on yachts? Uh, I've been on super yachts for about seven years and boats in general for over 20. Okay, and why did you decide to get into the yachting industry? Uh, I met my wife through that. I was a fishing guide in Vancouver and she was on yachts. And, and guess I... what? His wife is Chef Mandy. <laughs> we didn't tell you that, but... <laughs> so I followed her to Florida and here I am. Awesome. And uh, what waters have you cruised? Uh, Bahamas mainly, um, down to the Caribbean, Grenada, uh, St. Vincent, Grenadines, um, but mostly southeast of America and then west coast for fishing. And where's your favorite cruising area? Uh, the Exumas for sure. Okay, why? Just the water, you can't beat it. The clarity, the, blues, the, yeah. the fishing there is fantastic. Okay. And uh, just, it's beautiful. And what's your favorite thing to do when you have guests on board? My favorite thing to do is take the guests fishing. Mm -hmm. Obviously that's my strength and the thing I'm the best at. So I like to show them that and help them experience the feeling of bringing in a big sport fish. So you got Duran and yourself, fishing machines. Yep. This is the boat to fish on. For sure. We've got all the, the equipment you need, all the toys. Um, we're gonna make you have a good time on the outdoors and uh, show you the best of what this place can offer. And if you weren't working on boats, what would you be doing? Um, probably be somehow still related to boats, maybe working on boats on land, but okay, still related. Or something. Yeah, probably fixing boats. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, what kind of water sports do you guys have on board? Uh, we have two jet skis, we have four water scooters, um, we have all the snorkel gear, uh, we have a aquabana, we have a slide, we have a hot tub. Oh, wow. Consider that a water sport. Nice, but yeah. Anything you can do in the water, we're going to be able you to do for it. you. Awesome. Thanks, Shane. Thank you. On the flybridge, as you'll see, we have a great dining space outside for some alfresco dining, lounging space, plenty of seating area. Um, we have a wet bar, so we don't even have to go anywhere. You can have all your drinks right here. And then, if you want to take the helm, go ahead and drive that boat. on the aft deck of Margate. As you'll see, we have formal dining for eight. We have a wet bar here, TV, seating at the bar, and uh, just a good place to hang out, especially when you're an anchor. You'll have the beautiful blue waters of the Bahamas around you, and just a great dining space.
And now we're in the pilot house, as you'll say, where the magic happens, all the controls, driving the boat. If you want to have a seat, watch the captain do his thing. You can hang out right here while they drive the boat as well. So we are in the bridge with Captain Duran. And uh, so Captain, how long have you been working on yachts? I've been working, I started in the yachting industry in 2005. Okay. Yes. So do the math, 17 right. years, 18 yes. years right yeah. now. Yeah. Awesome, what brought you into yachting? How did you get on boats? I got on boats from when I was a kid. I used to go on boats with my uncle. Mm -hmm. Every summer and on the weekends, he takes me on the boats with him. He was one of the big captains in Nassau. So when I graduated, I went to sea school, got my licenses, and started off as a deckhand and worked my way up. Okay. Yeah. Besides the Bahamas, what other waters have you cruised? I've cruised Florida waters. I've did deliveries to the Caribbean. I've did the Northeast U.S. coast. Okay. Yeah. And where's your favorite cruising? Bahamas. Because it's better in the Bahamas. Us. Yes. And we know you're an expert of the Bahamas, you know all the secret places, hidden gems. He's a local Bohemian. You don't get any better than this. Yes. I um, love cruising the Exumas, Harbor Island, Abacos. Okay. Oh, I hear you like to fish. Do you like to fish? I love fishing. <laughs> we love fishing. That's why we can't wait to get back and get out there. What's your favorite catch? Uh, I love the wa Wahoos and the Mai Mai. Okay. So. And if you weren't working on boats? What would you be doing? I would probably be doing computer technology. Okay, yeah, so. tech. So. Awesome. Thank you, Duran. All right. <laughs>